this video i'm gonna lay it and today i'm just gonna show you all my like how it was with us getting dressed and stuff this morning uh, i did the girl's hair i had to actually cook because we didn't have any food like much food left over from dinner last night so i just went ahead and cooked the meal so that me and packet have some food to take and then my mama have food and stuff while she's um there today and yeah but anyway but yeah, make sure y'all like this video if you like this video subscribe if you haven't already and also comment down below let me know how you're doing happy tuesday today for dinner i'm planning on making some pork nachos so i'm gonna bring you all with me um later on but that's gonna be a different video but for now i'm actually on my way to school and i um i'm about to listen to my lecture because we have two well a test and a quiz today so i'm about to listen to my lecture right now and then later on um when I get to school, I'm gonna look over the things for my quiz again, and then just pretty much go from there. But anyway, y'all, I hope y'all have an amazing day, and yeah, enjoy the video. Okay, y'all, so I had to style the kids' hair, so I went ahead and did it, um, just a little braid and put a little bullet, I mean, put a ribbon at the end. Y'all, I was not a morning person this morning. I was so tired. I woke up at 2 something this morning studying for my test and exam and stuff today, and so I was just out of it. Normally, I'm a little more pimp you know it up to it in the morning but this morning absolutely not but you know i just went ahead and styled their hair the same way because after i finished styling chloe's hair Nari with her hair style and really i need to take Nari's chloe's hair down and um do it and i'm gonna just do it like Nariah's hair but until then here we go say hello Okay, so Logan is really not a morning person. But anyway, I just went ahead and put these beef meatballs out because I needed to cook something because I didn't have enough food from dinner last night to where I could pack me and pack a lunch. So I just went ahead and made enough food for us to take to lunch and for, um, you know, my mom and stuff to have while we was gone. So I went ahead and I made some jasmine rice with it and some green beans. I put some mushrooms and some onions and garlic and I made it. Um, normally, I would add a little bit of browning just so the color can look good instead of looking like yuck. <laughs> but i didn't have any brown in or i couldn't find it but anyway it was still good it was really really flavorful and it was delicious it was a good lunch but anyway this is what i wore today i hurt my ankles so i am wearing the most comfortable shoes i have which are these and yeah i just had on some leggings and a shirt and i needed to make my bed Hi, so I'm, I'm, a, I'm out of school and i'm actually and i see these watermelons i had some yellow and some orange ones last time. The yellow was really, really good. It was the sweetest, but since I don't see it today, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this orange and the red. Um, yeah, cause it was so good. But I'm getting stuff so I can make those tacos today. Hey y'all, I am back. So I am leaving the grocery store. I did stop here, what time? It's 3.41. So I did stop at the grocery store because I needed some things for dinner. I'm gonna do like pork nachos slash pork tacos. I have some pork steaks out that I'm gonna cut up and season and uh, pan sear and you know, build off of that. But anyway, today was a decent day at school. Y'all, it's been a weird week though. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. It's been a crazy week. Um, I took two tests today and I got, well, I took my quiz. I'm pretty sure I got a hundred on my quiz, but she didn't put our grade up yet, but um, I also got a, I got an 84 on my test and then that test was a little different, but I got an 84 on my test and then we had, um, took a pop quiz the other day and I got a 46 or a 48 out of 50. So it was 25 questions. So if each question was two points a piece, I think I had a 46. So I got 23 questions right. So that was our last midterm class, I think. So she said that she um, would I pop quiz instead of her adding another grade, like to the whole grade itself, because she said that it was going to do some people more harm than it would do, you know, be beneficial. Um, she said that she was going to go ahead and add those points because it'll be like 
20 out of 25 points because it was 25 questions or whatever so i would technically get about 23 points added but she's going to take the points that we got and add those to our lowest test grade that she's given us in which my lowest test grade was the one that i took today which is 84 because other than that i have like 92 and stuff like that so she's going to add those points to that i don't know if she's going to stop and just make it 100 or whatever the case is but um yeah, I think those are less class in midterms. And then we had our pharmacology metrics class today. And, you know, I it was kind of confusing the way that the teacher was explaining it. So I'm going to go back and just write out me. You know, she's putting up some practice tests. And I'm going to just write them out and then make sure that I know how to answer them. Because I knew it before she started talking, y'all. But she confused me with her way. So I'm going to just make sure that my way works still. You know, and I still get the right answer and everything. But, um... Yeah, I'm almost at home. I was gonna get some nacho chips and nacho cheese and stuff, but I have stuff like that already in my garage, so I remembered that and I just went ahead and put it back. So yeah, I didn't get any shredded lettuce, but I do have some salad mix, like a garden salad mix or something, some kind of salad mix or some sweet lettuce, sweet butter lettuce or something. So I said that's gonna have to work. Mm -hmm. But right now I'm drinking my Red Bull. I'm gonna go in and get my meat and stuff done and then or I may get my cat a bath first because I can wait a little while before I cook it's not going to take too long before it get done and I like the food to be hot when the kids are taking home so and when she's still going to have to come home and then we're going to have to go and pick them up but anyway I think I'm going to just go ahead and get a kid in a bath and give her him it's a he give him a little treat and stuff like that and then chill out and then clean my hands and everything and start cooking kind of backwards normally i would prefer to do the cooking first and then handle the cat but um, i wash my hands and stuff so i'm fine but anyway y'all i'll be back Hi right, y'all, so when I walked through the door, I saw that my mama had the kids a little snack out, a piece of Lunchable and some Capri Suns in which they did not eat today. So she went ahead and put them up because I cooked dinner. So I had some pork steaks that I went ahead and cut off the bone and I diced up the meat and I cleaned it in vinegar water. If you clean your meat, you clean your meat. If you don't, then you don't. Okay, I'm not eating it. So I went ahead and I put some taco seasoning on there and then I also put in some green chilies because these were going on nachos. So yeah, some taco seasoning and some green chilies, y'all. So then I put some salsa and then I just added a little bit of seasoning just for extra oomph. So I added in some of the buttery steakhouse by Kinders. And I believe that was all. But I went ahead and I just mixed it all in with my hands. Y'all, it's okay to get your hands dirty sometimes. I just don't mind it. But if you do, put on a glove or something. And then you want to let this marinate for at least 30 minutes. So I went ahead and I heated up some vegetable oil in my skillet. And I went ahead and cooked this um, meat down. Now, I would prefer to do this with chicken or shrimp or something. But I only have had um pork steaks out so i just went ahead and you know just did it with that but you know next time i would do like a shredded chicken or something like that but it still turned out really really well so yeah i went ahead and cooked those down and then i actually pulled those out the skillet and i actually cut them down even smaller now i made the nachos we had company over so i went ahead and made the nachos up but it was a rush so of course it's just looking a mess but then after we ate dinner we had some quality family time cardiac and First, let's talk about skeletal muscle tissue. Skeletal muscles most commonly attach to bone, and they help you move your body. Unlike the other two types of muscle tissue, skeletal muscles contract on a voluntary basis via the somatic nerve. Okay, so I started doing a little bit of um, studying, and then here comes Snoraya playing with the cats. So they were having a good time. Um, we were going to watch a movie, but they wasn't ready to sit down. But then the girls wanted to get in the video, but then they, I thought I was taking a picture or something. I don't know. So I was sitting down watching them play the game, and then Logan actually sat on me while I was on the laptop. So I had to move the laptop, and he just wants all my attention, y'all. He just wants all of me, okay? I give him kisses because he's so kissable and sweet, but... Um, Pat pulled out his little game and he started playing with the girls and it was surprisingly really good. Chloe and the, and the cat was arguing. Y'all see she wanted to set her butt down somewhere. Um, the cat don't attack them or anything like that. They just play with the cat so much and the cat kind of, kind of get tired of them sometimes. So I have to tell them, hey, leave the cat alone. Let the cat go do this. You know, don't touch the cat. You know, just get a cat some time to be a cat, okay? So anyway, Pat was sitting there playing a the game with the girls and like I said, surprisingly, they did very well. But hey, it must be in her blood because their dad is a gamer i don't know but yeah they did pretty well so yeah but um i was sitting there trying to study but it didn't work and now we've got all this 
Why do we want calcium to leak deep inside the muscle cell? Because calcium is the Alright y'all, so now it's pretty much dessert time before they baths and they get their teeth brushed and go to bed. But I just did one little scoop of ice cream, y'all, some caramel and some sprinkles. But anyway, y'all, I really appreciate you all watching this video. Make sure you like this video if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And also, comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. And I will see you all tomorrow.